Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the command prompt or command line window error message that says that the DNS server not authoritative for this zone. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on it, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Into this command line window, go ahead and type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Go ahead and hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart your computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and just close out of here. And you want to restart your device. And then hopefully I should have been able to resolve your problem, guys. So another thing we can try to do is actually run the command prompt directly from the directory that you're looking to modify or access. So let's just say we're going to open up File Explorer here, and we're going to go underneath this PC. And let's say that there was a random folder I wanted to you know, open here. And in your case, it would be particular specifically with the directory you're having the problem with. You would right-click on the file or folder, and then you would select Open in Windows Terminal. So that's another workaround potentially here for you guys. So, you know, something else to explore. Maybe there was an issue with the directory before. Now you did it correctly. Hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do a blessing will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.